Hello, welcome back. This is Morris Bimba, and today we want to try to create a curved truss. So if you take a look on the screen here, we have our grid line in place and two columns in place. So let me just first of all double click on the grid line here so that we see how the settings of our grid are. So we have we have three grids here. So three grids means we have one, two, three. So from here to here, this is a span of first, the first bay, and that is the second bay. So from here to here is 15, from here to here is, is 15. So a total length of 30 meters. To confirm that, let me just right click and come to measure here and snap on that spot and snap on the other end. And if uh, if I just place my cursor there, you'll be able to see it is 30 millimeter, 30,000 millimeter, making it 30, meter, 30 meters uh, span. So let me now switch back to this view, view on line one, on this view, along this view here. So I'll double click on line one there. So in here, you can see I have some, some points in place. I have points here at the pitch level, and I have points here at the top of, the, of this column, and I have a, a, a point here at the top of this far end column. And also I've created some, some points just to define the depth, I mean, um, the depth of our uh, truss. So let me just copy this uh, this point. I'll copy it from this spot. Let me just select on that, then right click and come to copy. Then I'll snap on that spot. Then I want to take this point up here. This will define the height of the internal struts from the top to the bottom cord. So this point will, will be Will be a guideline in creating the top cord and this one will be a guideline in creating the bottom cord now having done that what i'm going to do now i want to create a circle a circle that will help us in, in, in creating the curved uh, trusses so what, what i'm going to do i'm going to come to edit so under edit i'm going to pick on construction objects i'll click on that drop down arrow and pick on construction circle by three points so I'll snap on that option, then snap on this spot, move all the way to that spot, and move to this far end here. Let me just snap on that spot. So the moment I snap on that spot, you'll be able to see it is in place. But the segments are not accurate. That's why you see it's slightly off the point. And if I zoom this end, you see it's slightly off the point. So the segments I'm talking about, you see one and th this, these things that shows at, uh, uh, that our circle is somehow a polygon or uh, divided into segments. So I want to increase these segments. So I'll double click on it and come here and the, the slices or the segments are 32. So I want to create increase these segments or slices to make it smooth circle. So I can add a thousand there to make it smoother. If I click apply, you'll be able to see our lines now uh, cutting across that point and cutting across exactly on that point, like that. So you can see that. Now, this will be the top, the pitch of our, of our truss, and we want to select on that circle, right click and come to copy, and I want to copy this truss from that spot and place it right there. So the moment I've done so, we have this in place. So let's just forget the, the, the the part of the circle that's outside uh, these two columns. Now our truss will be curved like this from this end to this end. So the lines just to provide a guideline in placing the steel members. So the, uh, the, the, the truss we are going to create here is somehow like a space a space truss, but is in, 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 a, in a curved form. Now, I'll, I'll double click on the in here on the isometric view and i'll turn that around now on the top code here we're missing the top code so to bring back the top code i want to activate all the levels so i'll double click in here i'll double click in here and activate the levels here and click ok so the moment i do that i'll be able to have my my guidelines in place now I want to offset the top line, the top end, the, the, this top circle, in the opposite, in in the, in the z axis, by uh, 300, 300 to make it 
uh, uh, to make it 600. What I mean will be this, if I just turn this round here and try to hide these levels, let me just select on that or double click on that so that I can be able to hide this. If I click on that, I'll be able to hide those. So what I'm trying to, I want to copy, I want to offset this circle on, on Y axis and uh, another one, I want to offset it by 300. By three, I want to offset by 300 from this position in the in the in, in the y-axis. Then uh, another another part, another 300 in the negative direction of y-axis in you know, this direction. So let me just select on it. Then right click and come to special copy and pick on linear. If, if you take the position of the orientation of y-axis, you can see it's pointing on the other end. So what I'm going to do, I want to populate it or offset, give it give it an offset in the y-axis by 300 right there. So if I click 300, you'll be able to see I have that member or that circle moving on the other end. Let me just turn it into position, you'll be able to see it, see it well. You can see that I have that circle on that end. So let me just continue so that you see exactly what I'm trying to create here. So I select the first circle that was cutting straight at the center of our column, then right click once again and come to special copy and give it a linear option. Then I'll prefix this dimension with a negative sign, then come to copy and I'll close that. So as it is now, I have I have my, my three circles on top and one circle at the bottom. So this bottom circle will be defining the bottom code and the top one will be defining the top code. This is uh, more of a space trust. Now, once we've done so, we want to create, we want to divide this circle into several uh, segments. So to divide it, we use points. And points, we, to, to apply points, let's first of all go back to our, our, our view line one, double click, and change the rotation to zero default. Then this is what we have. Now we want to divide this, divide this circle into several segments so that we'll be uh, uh, dividing into several segments with points. So we'll use the points to create the members or to locate the position of the members. So I'll double click on this member. I'll double click on this circle. We'll just uh, select by left clicking, right, right click, then come to lines and circle and divide two points. I'll click on two points there. So we have three options here to divide this particular a line made of a circle. I'll pick the option, the, the second option. So I need 150 points along the circle. So I'll click create. So I'll have these points all, all over the circle created there. So that's the first circle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just rotate this and select this circle also. And I want to create, I want to create the same points. So I'll come to line and circle, line and circle, divide two points, and give it the same option. I'll click create points. I'll close that. Then select on that circle. Left click and right click and come to lines and circle, then divide two points. I'll click create, then close. So once we have this, it's very simple. What we, what we are going to do now, we are going to just to create uh, the steel members using pipes or CHS to create a space truss or a curved truss, a curved space truss in short form. Now, if I come at far end here between the curved truss and the uh, column, we'll find that the curved truss will, will be slightly off our, 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 our column. So what we are going to do, we want to create some points here. We come there and create and, create and divide points here. So I'll snap on that spot and snap on this spot and snap on that spot, which will not be accurate as it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and get off that point. So what I'm going to do once again, I'm going to use these two points to get to the midpoint right here. I'll come divide points and snap on that point, then snap on this point right here. So I'll have these two points in place. So. I want another midpoint between these two points here. I'll come there and create that option, divide points, then snap on that spot, then come here and snap on that spot. 
reason why I'll start my circle from I'll start my curve from that spot then from this end I'll just join it with this now let's just zoom out and we want to create now the curved beam now let me just switch back to my uh, to my line one view then I'll change the double click on the screen then change this to zero zero then this is how it looks now let, let me come to steel then come to uh, come to curved, curved beam I'll pick on the curved beam there then I'll snap on that spot let me just zoom close and snap on that spot then the moment you snap on the first we, we are being requested to, to, to define the second uh, spot then I'll snap on that particular position at the center there then I move to the bottom end here then the once I click there you'll be able to see we have our curved beam in place so these are the size of the profile we prefer to use here this if I just uh, if I just double click on it we'll be able to if I double click on it we'll be able to let me just uh, use appropriate let me just double click on it and neatly or correct or correct position let me call, let me click on the correct position so that we bring this curved beam dialog box so we'll click on this uh, button then this will take us to a huge dialog box where we'll be able to get the uh, the catalog of all the profile of our, of our choice then I'll go ahead and click on once again to load the profiles so I'm, I'm going straight to CHS let me just minimize that let me just minimize that. I'm going to round tube. Then from round tube there, I'll go to CHS. Now I'm going to pick 80. Uh, I'm going to pick 60 by 3. Let me just pick 60 by 3, 6.3 by 4. That should be OK. I'll click OK, then click OK, then I'll apply and give it an OK. So you can see that it has changed to that profile, CHS or round bars. or uh, circular hollow section so just double click on it just to bring it bring this member into the center of that uh, circle so to bring it at the center you can see if I, you can see the line here there so i'll come to out of plane and pick middle and click apply and give it an okay so you can see it has moved right at the center so i'll, I'll do the same thing here so this time round i'm going to just rotate my model like that so i'll, I'll be able to uh, Pick my starting points when creating the the curved uh, the curved the curved member or the curved top code of this particular truss. Now I'll come to curved beam. Pick on the curved beam. I'll pick on that spot. Then zoom out and and snap target my the center of uh, target the pitch the point at the pitch. Then move all the way to then move all the way to this particular point and snap right there. So you can see we have that in we have that in place. So the member is not the same. The profile member is not the same. Just double click on the previous one, then copy this circular hollow section or CHS. Just copy that, close that, double click on this, double click on that member, then paste it here. So I'll paste it right there. I'll, leave, I'll apply and give it an OK. And if I come here and try to rotate that, we'll be able to see we have that in, in line with our uh, grid that is helping us in creating the curve. Now, it's slightly touching the edge of the line, but we want this uh, tube to be at the center of this line. So we just double click on it, then we come to alignment, and pick on the middle and click OK. Apply and click OK. So it's right at the center there. So the same thing, you can just pick on that, then I right click and pick it from this point here and copy it on the other end. Copy it on the other end, right click and click on empty screen to, de to, to terminate that selection. Now, do we still have the points? Are we able to see the points? We are not able to see the points here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click view, then come to object draw, then pick wireframe. W wireframe, select on wireframe. Still, I'm not able to see the points clearly. So. If I zoom close, then I'll, I'll be able to see them clearly. So what I'm going to do this time round, I'm going to come to steel here and pick steel beam. Then snap on that and join that with that. Then double click on this to change this profile. Now I'll change this profile to, let me just click on that. Then I'll come to circular hollow sections here. Let me just minimize that, minimize that. 
and minimize that. So I'll come to CHS right there and try to apply 48 by, by 4. I'll give it 48 by 4. Or by 3.6, I'll give it I'll give it an OK, then come here and apply. Set as a default, yes, and they click apply and give it an OK. Now, if I come to view and come to uh, contour solid, we'll be able to see it's slightly off the point or off the line. I'll come back to I'll, I'll double click on this member, then come to come to alignment, then pick middle, middle, then click set as default, then click yes, apply and give it an OK. So the rest I'll be creating will be snapping right at the center. Now let me back, go back to uh, the draw mode, then click on drop down arrow, then uh, pick on contour solid or wireframe. So I'll be able to see all that. So if I come to steel here and pick on beam, I'll be able to create all this. Snap on that and come here and snap on that and come here also and snap on that. So if I come here, let me just move and slightly move faster and create another member there. I'm trying to join the top cord, the two top cords of this particular uh, space truss or curved truss. Let me just snap on that spot and snap right there and zoom out and snap right there and snap right here. And zoom close and target that spot. So just snap on that spot and snap on this spot. Then I'll zoom closer and snap on that spot and snap on this particular spot. Then uh, snap there and snap here. It's not accurate and we are there. And uh, if I click on that spot and click here, we've created a, we are joining the two top cords together by creating a member in between and I'll come here and select on that and select on this and select on that point and select on this point. And if I go ahead and select on that point and select on this particular point, zoom out and the rest I'll add. Now, if I change my view, if I change my view and come and create another member here. So I want to create another member here. So this member will come all the way from here to the, the, to the end of this, of this column but it will be anchored or connected to, to our column by end, by end plate or, or a plate. So I'll, in, the next, in, the next, in, in the next presentation, I'll show you how we can we, we create that connection. But first of all, let me just extend this member to, to this spot. I'll click on that beam and I'll snap there and come all the way to this end there. So we have that member in place. I'll, I'll change the view, I'll change the uh, draw, draw mode and come to contour solid and you can see that. If I double, so if, if I select on that, if I select on that member and turn it around, you can see the member is slightly small. So what you're going to do, you want to change, double click on that member, then change this to CHS 60, we'll copy that and close that and double click on this. Then we paste that profile name here, then click set as default, then uh, click yes, apply and give it an okay. So if you apply, or if you do the same the other end, it will not ask us or, or to, it will not default on the previous still, still profile and size. And let me just snap on that spot. And that one has been done and we'll go all the way to the other end also and do a similar thing. So what we did the other end was just uh, was just creating another member here or creating or defining uh, the midpoints between this and that, I'll come to edit, I'll come to points and pick on the dividing points and I'll snap on that spot and snap on that spot. So we have these two, we have these two points with a, mid, with a midpoint in here. So I want to a midpoint between these two, the first two. So I'll click on that drop down arrow and pick on the dividing points, I'll snap on that spot and create another point there. Snap there and create another one there. So. I want to extend this car, this member, to join this member. The reason I'm, what I'm trying to do is just to to make the end plate that will be connecting the the, the, the space truss or the curved truss to the column to make that plate slightly smaller and uh, to, just to avoid the wastage of material right there. Now I'll come to steel and come to beam. Then I snap at the bottom end here and snap right here. 
then I'll extend this and snap on that spot and snap right here. Perfect. So this is where we are. And I think we can meet on the next presentation where I'll go further on how we can add or we can, we can add the internal uh, members of this particular space trust or curve trust. Let's meet then. This is Morris Dimba and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye bye.